Let me show you today a quick demo how you can easily install and patch at the same time with the Oracle Universal Installer. It's very simple, it's very straightforward, and it's most overlooked. That feature exists since Oracle Database 18C, actually. So let me demonstrate this in this quick demo. So let's, let me start here with a quick uh, overview. At first, I downloaded the base release Oracle 19.3.0, and I unzipped into a new directory. In addition, I prepared under that new directory a patch directory, and in that I downloaded 19.8.0 and a one-off patch, because I wanted to show you both of that. When we go a level deeper, you see that the patches are in subdirectories. The purpose for that is to avoid uh, overriding the patch search XML file. So you see that here, that is the 19.8 RU. And we check quickly the readme. So 19.8.0 from July 2020. And one thing you need to check up front is if you have the right version of Opatch. So this is the 21 version here. So let me check the Opatch version. And for this demo, I provided that already. So I deployed the Opatch version up front into the unzipped base release. In order to check the Opatch version, I need to set the Oracle home here, which is my Oracle new future Oracle home directory. And an Opatch version gives me the version. So it's 21 and all will be good here. Next step is I run the installer and here I use the two options apply RU and I specify the subdirectory where I unzipped the patch into and it's very important to have really the subdirectory where the patch contents are not the directory where the patch search XML is and I add the same thing for a one-off so I use minus apply one-offs if you have more than one one-off patches, you can simply separate them with commas. And when I kick this off, the installer now checks and invokes the patching process at first. So it applies the 19.8.0 release update. And once this is done, the one-off patch will be applied to the same home. It's important that you check for conflicts up front. Otherwise, this process here will fail if there's a conflict. And once it is done, it will start the Oracle Universal Installer. Once the OUI is ready to go, it will configure now the unzipped and patched home. So I would like to set up the software only. It's a single instance, Enterprise Edition. And you see here that my software location is the directory where I unzipped everything into. DBA users, I typically give my root credentials here, or you can also use sudo. So I don't have to open the xterm and do the root sh afterwards. The checks for the home, all looks good. Let's install. And a few seconds later, my installation should be completed. Confirmation to execute the root script. All is good, installation done. Now a final check. Let's check with Opatch what the inventory says. So I use Opatch LS inventory. And I will scroll up here a little bit. So I have the base product. This is Oracle Database 19C. And you see below, I have three interim patches. And the, the term interim patch is very misleading because typically we refer to interim as a one-off, like this one I marked here. So this has been applied. Then the 19.8RU has been applied as well. And we scroll down a little bit, a little bit further, and further. And here we come to a very low patch number. 
This is the Oracle Clusterware part in the database home, but no worries, this is from the 19.3 base release. This is from 2019 as I installed it. So all looks good. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.